Dotinchem, Dutch pronunciation, Dutienxem, listen, Low Saxon, Dutekem, is a city and municipality in the east of the Netherlands. It is situated along the Oude Isel, Old Isel River in a part of the province of Gelderland called the Achterhoek. The municipality had a population of 57,292 in 2017 and consists of an area of 79.66 square kilometers, 30.76 square miles, of which 0.60 square kilometers, 0.23 square miles is water. This makes Dotinchem the largest town by population in the Achterhoek. On 1 January 2005, a municipal restructuring merged the neighboring municipality of Veel as well as the Zilhelmsbroek area with Dotinchem. Topic population centers The local government organization in the Netherlands is complex and fine-grained see municipality and government stats, with municipalities being divided into various entities the municipality of Dotinchem consists of the city Stad, Dotinchemth villages Wichken, Centrum Ganderen Veel Dikteren Overstegen de Ue de Hoop Usseld Schonveld and Musibot Their neighborhoods Borchappen, Ijzevord Langerak Weinbergen Dotinchem Nieuw Wellwell was a separate municipality with about 6,750 inhabitants including NIEUW Veal, until 31 December 2004, when it merged with the municipality of Dotinchem. History It is known from archaeological finds of skulls, pottery shards, and flint arrowheads that the area was inhabited more than 11,000 years ago. These prehistoric hunters were followed by Celtic and Germanic tribes like the Franks and Saxons. Roman coins have been found and there is also archaeological evidence of the Vikings having plundered the area. The first reference to the name of Dotinchem comes in a document from the year 838 which mentions a Villa Duettingham, a settlement with a small church. In 887, there is another mention of Dutinchem, a fortress with a church which had been given to the then Bishop of Utrecht. The spelling has varied over the centuries, with Duttikem, Duijingen, and Deutekom being just some examples. For a long time, Dotinchem remained a small place, but around 1100 it started to grow, and, after suffering several attempts by plunderers, a town wall was built. In 1236, Dotinchem was granted city rights by Count Otto II of Gelray and Zutphen, and in return the town provided taxes and soldiers for the Count's army. Also, the new city council published rules for the city, codified in the Kerbuk van Dotinchem Rulebook of Dotinchem, which laid down severe punishments for infringements. In 1226, Dotinchem faced increasing danger from plunderers, and so the city wall was raised by a meter. There were four barriers in the wall which, being weak points, were replaced over time by four large city gates known as, the Hamburgerport built 1302, the Waterport, the Gruetport, and the Hesenport. Later a moat was dug around the wall and a rampart was built in front. The city's central windmill, the Wallmolen Dutch Wall equals rampart, Molen equals mill, stands on the remains of this rampart. 
Despite these defences, Dotinchem was besieged many times and during the Eighty Years' War 1568 was besieged and conquered twice. However, eventually the walls became seen as redundant or perhaps ineffective and in 1672, they were torn down. However, it was not until the second half of the 19th century that the city gates and most of the rampart were removed. From its early years, Dotinchem had been an important marketplace for farmers to sell their wares. The market was held in the central square called the Simonsplein right up until the Second World War. Dotinchem has had its fair share of disasters. Apart from the sieges mentioned above, in 1527 a large fire destroyed most of the city including the city archives which means that many earlier dates in the history of Dotinchem are somewhat unreliable, and in 1580 most of the city was killed by plague. There was also occasional flooding. However, despite the fact that Dotinchem is only 10 km miles from the German border, because the Netherlands was not involved in the First World War, Dotinchem saw nothing more than the posting of a few border guards during that time. Even during the Second World War, Dotinchem came off fairly lightly at first, there was only a small German occupying force and the city even escaped the worst effects of the hunger winter. However, some prisoners were executed after being implicated in the shooting death in Putten of an important German officer by the Dutch resistance and disastrously, in March and April 1945, the centre of Dotinchem was largely destroyed by Allied bombing which was either intended for nearby German towns or, as some say, was to destroy the German defences in Dotinchem. Which of the two is true has never really been clarified and there is still some discussion about the true intentions of the bombardment. The city itself was liberated by the Calgary Highlanders in 1945 after a brief battle there. In 2018 a writer called Carol Berkeisen researched about the Allied bombing. He found that the Germans were researching nuclear fission in a converted school. This information was then passed to the Allies. In the decades after the war, Dotinchem grew and in a few years had outgrown its competitors in the Akterhoek, namely Duisburg, Winterswijk, and Zutphen. The Dutch company, Philips, had a factory for some years in the city. From 2003 till 2005, the city grew enormously as new districts such as Dicteren were built, and as Dotinchem incorporates outlying villages such as Veal into its municipality. In 2011, the city is still growing. By building new district as Het Lu and Isseldarks, and the opening of a brand new theatre and cinema, Dotinchem is the biggest growing city in Gelderland. <laughs> Significant structures in Dotinchem The main church in the central square, St. Catherine's Church was virtually destroyed in the World War II bombing and restoration took from 1948 to 1963. Although originally a Roman Catholic church, it became Dutch Reformed in 1591. There are two castles, De Kelder the cellar and Sangenberg. The city has three windmills. In the city centre, there is the already mentioned De Walmolen, the bottom of which now houses the city's tourist office. 
In Dicteron, there is a mill called Aurora Latin for dawn and to the east of the city a mill called Benincmolin. All these mills are open to visitors, usually open to all one weekday morning and at other times by appointment. A few other important buildings in the city are the Amphion Theatre, the Gruetport, a big cultural centre, the Rietveld Lyceum, the biggest high school in Dotinchum and the Tax Administration Office. Gallery Topic Sport Dotinchum has a professional football team, De Grashap, the county. The home of De Grashap was completely revamped to transform it into an all-seater arena. The stands are fully covered, with the roof painted in the blue and white of the club. The city has an indoor swimming pool, Rosengard. In April or May, a local evening four-day marathon is organized. Since 2005 a four-day marathon is organized which starts and ends in Dotinchum and runs through the Actorhook. The marathon was held from 23 August to 26. Almost 15.000 people took part. In 2009 the city's volleyball team took part in the CEV Cup playing against Haltbank Inkara from Turkey. Festivals. Dotinchum has an annual street theatre festival Bootingawoon Extraordinary, and the City Festival, a big festival with music acts, theatre, a carnival and fireworks. <laughs> Notable residents Paul Bosvelt, born 1970, footballer. Chris Brule, born 1970, badminton player. Alexander Butner, born 1989, footballer. Geert D. Dales, born 1952, Dutch politician. Luc de Jong, born 1990, footballer. Seem de Jong, born 1989, footballer. Carol Hendrik Verhuel, born 1764, admiral and statesman. Richel Hogenkamp, born 1992, tennis player. John Hondorp, born 1964, jazz organist. Sanna Kaiser, born 1985, volleyball player. Glenn Leuvens, born 1983, footballer. Maria Martins, born 1955, politician. Joris Neuenhaus, born 1996, cyclist. Arnud Ocken, born 1982, middle distance runner. Desi Ryers, born 1964, freestyle swimmer. Jan Reitman, born 1952, pianist. Thomas Rosenboom, born 1956, author. Marlos Wesselink, born 1987, volleyball player. Siri Worm, born 1992, footballer. Topic: <laughs> Local media. Newspapers available in Dotinchum include subscription paper, De Gelderlande, and free papers, Dotinchum's Vizier, and Zondag, all published by Koninklijke Wegener NV.
Dotinchum has its own television station called Stads TV, which is received by cable in the municipalities of Dotinchum itself and the neighbouring Humalo N. Keppel, and a television station called Grashap TV, which is received in the entire Akterhook region. Transport Dotinchem has been connected to the Dutch National Highway System since November 1974, when the Zevenaar Dotinchem section of Highway 15 was opened. This section was extended to Vaasveld in 1984. Today the A15 is called the A18. Dotinchem is served by rail services from Arnhem by the regional train to Winterswijk with two stations, one in the city centre, Dotinchem and Dotinchem de Oe lying to the west between the suburbs of de Oe and Dicteren. Dotinchem receives four trains per hour to Arnhem Monday to Friday and there are always two trains per hour between Arnhem and Winterswijk. The rail company is Sintus. In 2012, Arriva, who already operates all the bus services, will take over the rails between Arnhem and Winterswijk. Bus services are operated by Arriva.